everyone. This is Tonin Bora from Water Games. Uh, I am here to show you how to set up my simple weapon IK handler system. So here I have a knight who's using uh, explosives, two-handed animation set. But you'll notice that his hand or re uh, left hand is not on the hilt. So we're going to use my set up my system so that it fixes that. So the first thing you want to do is click on your character, add component, and then do a search for weapon IK handler. Uh, now there's two ways you can, then you'll want to set the bones, the hand bones. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can do this through edit time by clicking and dragging the bone that you that you want to set or you can do it at runtime for things like uh, MMOs and things like that um, and then what you'll want to do here is type in the name of the bone and then on runtime it will set that so just to show you I'm going to go ahead and use the runtime so we have uh, for the left hand it's going to be rig L palm and the right hand is going to be rig L palm for this character. For your character it may be different. Um, and then you'll want to set the desired weight. Uh, I'm going to set it to one. All right so the next thing you want to do is you want to go down to your weapon. Now this will work for prefabbed weapons as well. Um, and so what you'll want to do is right click on it and create an empty underneath the weapon. And then I'm going to name this left hand target. And then add a target IK target script to it. And then set, uh, you um, need to set this to the hand that you want to target this transform. So I want the left hand to target this one. And then roughly position it to where you think the hand should go. That looks about right. We'll see. Um, I think I need to pull it up a little bit too. All right. So the last thing we need to do is go over to the animator. And now there's several ways you can do this, but this is the way I chose to implement it. Um, you can also do it through events and things like that as well. But I'm going to go to the two-handed dr sword draw animation where he draws his sword. And then on here, I'm going to click add behavior and add the toggle weapon IK. This will toggle on the IK when this state, when the animation plays this state or enters this state. Um, you can also do this the reverse. You can also do the same thing on the sheath so that it turns off the IK when the weapon is not being used. Now the toggle will turn on and off just like a toggle. Um, now the other important thing here is that you, what you want to do is you want to go to layers and in your layer you want to make sure that the IK pass is ticked. Otherwise, this will not work at all. So make sure this box is ticked. So now if we run it. Let's take a look. That looks a lot better. Could probably use some tweaking, but we can go here and click on that and then actually change the hand a bit that looks better much better and then I can even go up here and tweak the IK weight I'm actually going to set it to there um, and then what you can do is to save this position, you can right click on the transform for the uh, target, 
uh, and copy component. And then when you exit, you can come in here and paste the component values so that it stays the same. Ta-da, easy. Now, like I said, you can do this in several different ways. Um, you can have the, you, if you go into the script, there's, there's a toggle, two different toggle functions that you can call for the um, weapon IK handler. And so you can toggle those functions within uh, animation events if you'd rather do it that way, or even through scripting. Um, but with this setup, what I would recommend you do is have the toggle set up when the character draws the weapon, whenever the character would enter this um, combat stance for that weapon, um, as well as set it up again, do the, have this script trigger when um, he leaves it as well, so that the IK is disabled. All right, uh, thank you for watching. And I hope you find this useful. So have a nice day. See you next time.